Hey Ron, so I actually figured that this uh, Bluetooth connection from a Mac um, was complicated enough it warranted a little video. Um, so um, I've got a A-channel Pro XR controller here with a Bluetooth module plugged into it. Um, I, I, I did have the Bluetooth module named, um, I think Travis BT or something. Um, but other than that, uh, their, their Bluetooth module should show up. It's just the name that shows up in pairing maybe, of course, won't say Travis in it. Um, so first thing you got to do is uh, click on the Apple here and then go to System Preferences and then click on Bluetooth. Um, I'm going to go ahead and apply power to the controller now. <clears throat> and it should show up here. There it is. Uh, click the pair button. It's going to fail initially. Um, and then uh, pass key enter did not match. So click on options. And the default pairing code form is one, two, three, four. Um, so click pair. And now you'll see there it shows connected. Um, so the next thing, um, so yes, it you, you can pair to this controller with a Mac. No questions asked. For sure, it works. Um, now, if you actually want to test whether or not you know the controller works, which it it will, um, we don't have any software for this. Um, so I'm just using the terminal. So just Command Space on your keyboard uh, to bring up the Finder there and type in Terminal. Um, terminal should show up. Just hit Enter. Um, if you type in uh, cd forward slash dev um, and then type in ls, it's going to list everything in your dev directory, which contains a lot of hardware connected to the computer, including USB to serial devices and this Bluetooth controller in particular. Um, it should show up here. Uh, mine's called tty.travis underscore bt dash rni dash spp. Uh, more than likely, um, your Bluetooth module is going to show up as something dash RNI dash SPP. I think I named this one Travis underscore BT, um, but uh, you should see that. So once you find that, um, you're gonna need you're gonna need this. Um, so you might want to uh, highlight that and hit Command C to copy it to your clipboard. Um, I left this window up over here. Uh, you can see that this is showing up as not connected now. That will not be connected unless you open a connection to it and send it a command. Um, so the best way to do that uh, from the terminal, and we can use this to monitor data coming back from the board, is in a, uh, type in cat-v um, forward slash dev, forward slash, uh, just, just paste in what you copied earlier. So that's that's going to open a connection. You'll see over here it switched to connected, um, so that's cool. Um, unfortunately, you can't use cat to send uh, hex formatted commands to the controller, so you'll need to move that, that window there to the side and come up here. You should see terminal. Um, click on shell new window. That'll bring up a new window, and then we can actually use this window to send commands to the board. Um, so we would uh, enter um, echo dash n dash e, and then the command, which uh, the on command for relay one is backslash x f e backslash x six c backslash x zero one. The, this is a hex formatted um, byte array. This is basically 254, 108, 1, but in hex format. Um, very important, you have to have a single quote here, and then that, and then a single quote. Um, and then we'll put in uh, the greater than sign there, and then the, uh, the directory we want to send it to. Which that should be, that needs to be forward slash dev, you can't forget that. Forward slash dev, forward slash that. And so that should turn on the relay. Yep, click, there we go. 
Um, so just hit up on your on your keyboard, and that'll bring up previous commands that you've entered. Um, so just hit up on the keyboard to bring up that command you just put in, and we can turn the relay off by changing 6C to 64, and then hit enter. It's going to turn it off, so I can turn it on. I'm just using the up button on my keyboard to bring up previous commands. Bring that up, the 6C one. So I can turn it on and off um, from the terminal here. Um, so definitely for sure works with Mac, uh, no problems. Um, so yeah, if you uh, have any other questions, uh, let me know. Thanks.